96.1 Kicks 96 Kicks Cares for Kids. It's our eighth annual Radiothon. Global Credit Union phone lines are there. They're being manned by Walmart. Yes, our sponsor is Global Credit Union, Perfecting Power, PW Telecom Trend 2. And uh, we're looking for miracle makers right now. We're looking for those 10 crib mo mo mobiles. Thank you. Mo mobiles. Or mobiles. And uh, to distract in that. But with us is, uh, is Pat and Pat, your grandma, right? Right. And uh, you need to hold a... Oh, sorry. No, no worries. <laughs> yeah, no. We're, we're, we're all wired for sound here and that. But um, you have a story to tell. You have a granddaughter here. You're from Montana, right? Right. Montana and, and again, this isn't a, again, just a Spokane, Coeur d'Alene type thing. Families come from all over to the wonderful resources here. But um, so what's going on? Well, in January of 2010, my four-year-old granddaughter was diagnosed with high-risk neuroblastoma, and she was stage four. So um, since we have no pediatric oncology in Kalispell, um, we were sent to Sacred Heart Hospital in Spokane, right here, uh -huh. and um, where Caitlin was being treated, and we were told that she'd have to go through 15 months of very aggressive treatment because neuroblastoma is a very aggressive cancer that has no cure. Um, so she started off with very high dose uh, chemotherapy, and she went through surgery, and then she went through a stem cell transplant at Seattle Children's Hospital, um, followed by uh, radiation treatment, and then she had immunotherapy. Um, she's had hundreds of um, tra uh, transfusions and medications. Uh, she, however, at the end of her treatment, the day before she was going to get her central IV line out, uh, we were told that she relapsed already. Uh, how, 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 do you, how do you deal with this? Your, your grandma? By the grace of God. Got to have a higher power, right? Definitely. Cool. So what's happening now? Well, Caitlin um, had to go back into treatment. We went to Sloan Kettering, New York, and she uh, they had some hope for us there. She, they were able to... Um, they were able to gain a second remission for her okay. with some more chemotherapy. Okay. She lost her hair again, and uh, then she had two antibody treatments. But at the end of her second antibody treatment, tests showed that the um, cancer was back, and it had spread through her body. And she has um, a brain tumor about the size of a lemon, and it's pressing into her brain. Before you go on with the story, people, somebody right now for Caitlin, two, three, two. 5437. Pick up the phone for this little one. 1 866 511 We need your help. Pick up the phone, make the phone ring. Go on, Pat. Sorry to interrupt. Um, well, at this point, uh, it's just been kind of a shock to us. It's kind of a surreal moment, but Kate, her, Caitlin's parents, my daughter and her husband, they're young. How are they holding up? They're doing the best they can. They yeah. have two other children, Caitlin's brothers. They're four, five, and six, and Caitlin's, actually, they're just turned five, six, and seven. Caitlin's in the middle. Uh -huh. And um, Caitlin hasn't been home very much, and it's been kind of a very interesting family situation. But anyway, Caitlin's parents have had to make a very difficult decision, and they've decided no more treatment. So right now, Caitlin is um, spending her final days here in Spokane. She's not going to make it. She's not going home. And uh, we had a chance to go home last weekend and say goodbye to all of our friends. And uh, there's many people who love Caitlin very much. She's in kindergarten. I just went to her class, and they have pink roses on her locker, and they're all praying for her. And uh, anyway, she's upstairs, and she's in her final days, but they're keeping her as comfortable as possible with pain medication. And um, she's a very sweet little girl. And if you go in her room, She's pretty drugged up right now, but she'll look up at you and she'll say, Want a Dorito? Mm. <laughs> They're so strong, but uh, um, how has the hospital helped you through this? How, how, how? Well, I think we've been very fortunate to be here. At first, we didn't want to have to be here because it's so far away. It's right. a four-hour drive for us. But 
looking back now, I realize that this is the best place because then because um, they've just provided a really um, great facility. Linda you know, Ramirez, four three two six one. Linda Ramirez, four three two six one. And Caitlin and Caitlin has enjoyed her time here when she's played in the playroom and she's had all those great toys to play with and she's has the medical play where she can play with the dolls that have the IV lines just like hers and she can uh, give them shots and she can, she just loved that part. Yeah. <laughs> and she can um, do IVs and give them medicine and she just really enjoyed that a lot and she was able to have um, her big screen TV and she was able to play the Wii and video games and when her family comes to town the boys can have a comfortable place to stay and be with her in the playroom and they have the plasma cars now and they, she's been riding bikes and um, you know she's just being a normal, she was able to be a normal child here. You're, an, you're, an, incredible, you're an incredible person, you know that? Grandma, not really. Not really. <laughs> Not really people. You but have this to be is happening. <laughs> this isn't a story. This is it's happening right now. Two three two kids. Call. Two three two kids. How important is this that other families have this support? And I, I feel so bad for you. It's hugely support um, important. Um, and it's important for families to be together with their children. And it's a place where they can be together and um, even down to the very rooms that we stay in, you know, we have a great place to sleep and, you know, we have room to put our clothes and we have a place to just be with our kids because they need us. Ten dollars a month. I mean, people, it's ten dollars a month. One hundred and twenty dollars a year. This is happening right now. I, and I, my heart goes out to you, you know. I, I, and you're so strong to be able to come and, and share your stories to help other kids. Uh, what a wonderful grandmother you are. I mean, I can't tell you. I have to be strong for my daughter and my granddaughter. Uh, I've been doing this eight years, and uh, uh, you are amazing to come and, and share this story, you know? Because um, she's going to heaven. You know, she's going to heaven, and we know that. And uh, I feel bad for your daughter and, and, and your son. And, and uh, the people pick up the phone, 232-KIDS, 1-866-511-5437. Um, can you talk, Cody? Yeah. Um, it, <laughs> It's been tough because my the tears have been rolling down my eyes to the whole story, and I, I thank you again for uh, being here, Pat, and sharing your story and your friend Penny. You got a little, uh, you got some support in your husband Andy, so uh, we appreciate you guys so much. And um, I'm going to pray for a miracle for uh, your granddaughter, okay? Because yeah. miracles can happen, and and you know the people listening right now, you guys can help too and be part of that miracle. You can become a miracle maker and help. You can make the life easier. I mean, maybe we can't take away all the pain, but at least we can do something as we can in this realm uh, to make life just a little bit easier. Two three two five four three seven to help these kids, or eight six six five one one five four three seven. Become a miracle maker right now. Phones aren't ringing, but we would like you to. To uh, call and, and, and help us. Yeah, no, no, please do. In yeah, honor, Pat. honor Caitlin, you talk as much as you want. Go for it. No, I'm done. Are you done? <laughs> You're done. I, I you just do want it? to ask everybody for their prayers. We could really use it right now. Yeah. Our family, my daughter and her husband, are going through a very hard time, but your prayers really, will really help us. And for Caitlin, in her name, 232 Kids, and God bless you. You're amazing. You're amazing. Kicks cares for kids.